Welcome to another episode of Muscle and Fitness Raw with your host, Dr. Jim Stepani. Negative rep training is a great way to push past plateaus and instigate new muscle growth and strength gains. The main reason why negative rep training works so well is for the simple fact that you can resist far more weight on the negative portion of the rep than you can actually lift on the positive portion of the rep. Research has shown that most people can lift or resist about 20% more on the eccentric or negative portion of the repetition on a given exercise than they can on the positive or concentric portion of the rep. Now this is beneficial for two main reasons. For one, with 20% more weight, you're training your nervous system to handle heavier weight. This can actually lead to better strength gains. That heavier weight also places more overload on the muscle fibers. And during the lengthening contraction, that's the negative portion of the wrap or eccentric portion, when the muscles are lengthening, when you have more overload on them, you get greater muscle damage. And muscle damage is one of the ways that we believe muscle grows. Well, at least the recovery from that muscle damage because the muscles tend to grow bigger and stronger after they've recovered. Now you can't use negative rep training all the time. Your muscles actually gain a protective mechanism that prevents further muscle damage from occurring. So I typically recommend doing some negative rep training to sort of push muscle growth a little further every couple of months. Now one of the problems with negative rep training is you're using more weight than you can actually lift. So how do you do that? Well obviously you need a spotter to help you through the positive portion of that exercise. So for example on the bench press you load up the weight 120% of your one rep max and then you lower the weight slowly down to your chest. I'll give you the details how in just a second. And then your spotter helps to lift the weight off your chest because you're not doing it by yourself. So what if you train alone? Well, most people think, oh, that means I can't do negative rep training. Well, all you need is a little ingenuity. And one place that you can use that is on the Smith machine. How can you lift more on the Smith machine? By doing one arm negative reps. So basically, you're going to lower the weight with one arm and press up with both arms. Let me show you how to do this using the bench press as an example. To do one arm negative reps on the Smith machine, you're going to need to place a bench in the middle of the Smith machine. One trick I like to use here is to drop the bar all the way down onto the bench so I can line it up perfectly, making sure the bench is directly in the middle and not too far back or too far up for perfect positioning of the bar on the chest. Then you need to actually measure your one rep max or your one arm one rep max on the Smith machine bench press. This way you know how much you can lift once because remember you're going to add more weight to this number to do your negative reps. And I typically like to test both arms just to make sure there's not a huge strength difference. Then you're going to add about 20% more weight uh, to that one arm, one rep max. Now you're ready to do your negative reps. To do the negative reps, you need to lower the bar with one arm. Now you're going to have to drop it to the three quarter position before you'll get enough resistance to really uh, be difficult to resist. So you're going to lower it down the three quarter position and then you're going to try to resist it for at least three to eight seconds on the way down. You alternate arms each time and then press the weight back up with both arms. Now, like I said, you want to make sure you can resist this for 
three to eight seconds. If you can't resist it on the way down for at least three seconds, then you need to lower the weight. If you can resist it for more than eight seconds, then you should increase the weight until you find a weight that puts you right in that range. And you should be doing somewhere between three to eight reps per set, going for about three sets. I typically recommend doing these at the start of your workout, and then you follow up with uh, regular bench presses. Now, obviously you can use this on other exercises, such as close grip bench press, uh, you can see uh, the similarities there. You can also use this for the shoulder press. And you can even use this technique uh, for barbell curls right here on the Smith machine doing negatives for your biceps. The close grip bench press and the barbell curl version of this exercise make great variations for those of you who are doing my six weeks to sick arms program and train alone if you don't have a spotter to help you with those negatives that you have to do in the first week using the smith machine makes a great alternative so that's how you can do negative reps using a smith machine for a workout that i designed to show you how to use one arm negative rep bench presses on the Smith machine in your workouts. Pick up the October issue of Muscle and Fitness Magazine and turn to my MNF Rod department in the Edge section. And be sure to look for more great tips like this and other episodes of Muscle and Fitness Raw right here at MuscleandFitness.com. And don't forget to check out my personal website, JimStepani.com for more exclusive articles and videos from me, as well as workouts that you can download and take with you anywhere.